everybody's keeping well. Um, not a lot's actually been happening in the last uh, few weeks, and yet somehow it feels as if I've been kind of snowed in. Uh, not helped by the fact that I had a, a hospital appointment, uh, what, last week? No, two weeks ago. Uh, which was a living nightmare because I had it booked, like, at the end of July, and then they kind of phoned and went, uh, this is 20 minutes before I was about to leave the house. Uh, they phone out and go, um, uh, our equipment's broke down, uh, can we rebook? I'm like, I don't know, just leave the house. I'm, I'm all, you know, coated and shoes up and everything. No. So, I cancel, except when I, uh, so they phone back and say, right, this was on the Friday. They say, right, come in on Monday. 8.45 in the morning they wanted me there. I said, you're not getting me there at that time in the morning. Not because I'm lazy, per se, but the travel that I have to get doesn't go at that time in the morning. So uh, I was like, I, I, I can't get there, because this is like out in, uh, out in the boonies, if you will. Um, so uh, they're like, okay, so they're, well, as if I can drive, uh, and I'm like, well, we are moving, moving patients around to accommodate you. I'm like, yeah, that's nice if I drove, but I don't drive. So, um, <laughs> they go, right, come two o'clock. Well, he said, Monday comes around, and I'm actually ill. So, uh, not ill, ill, but just really feeling that I had a bad headache and just really, really bleh. So, uh, they so, say, so, right, and they rebooked for this the following Friday. Fine, go along. And uh, that was a, a, the most bizarrest and, you know, uh, experience I've ever had because it's been a long, long while since I've been to the uh, ophthalmologist, despite my eye condition. And uh, where I was before, they kind of, uh, uh, the specialist that I'd grown up with let, retired and then blah, blah, blah. And they go, so anyway, I go in and they say, we want to take your blood pressure. I'm like, I'm here for an eye checkup. Not to check if I'm a <laughs> about to die of a heart attack. So, um, that was really weird because then they didn't have a, uh, the cup thing to go around my arm and, and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so, moving on through that, it then turns out that actually I've got a, a cataract in my weak eye. Which would actually explain a lot regarding my occasional lack of complete sight in that eye. So, uh, but I've said that it's not serious enough to warrant, like, surgery to get rid of it. So I'm like, oh great, you know, my eyesight's bad enough as it is, just, you know, <laughs> excuse me, uh, kind of carry on, you know. So I'm like, come away with that. And I'm like, okay. Uh, they didn't want to put me on drops or anything, but, um, this is coming from the person who went to the dentists and ended up coming back with an eye patch on. So, uh, and I'll explain that um, next vlog because actually I've got a lot of things to talk about in uh, in this one. But uh, so that was the main thing actually, the uh, eye hospital. But um, and I had to catch up. Last time I talked about the uh, London Film and Comic Con and my palaver getting a photo uh, with William B Davis. Anyway, I was waiting for my reshoot shot to come back, wasn't I? The, uh, not reshoot, but the, um, playing around with my eyes, photoshopping and, and everything. So I'm waiting and waiting, and they said to wait a week. I waited a week. Nothing. So about ten days have gone by, and I sent them an email. Didn't hear anything. I thought, okay, this is rude. Um... So I sent a, an email to um, showmasters, who were like the people who oversee the conventions and everything. Didn't hear back from them. You know, so I'm like, okay. So I phoned show ma showmasters. And they say that the woman who does the, the photography and then pills around with them, her laptops broke down. And I'm thinking, yeah, but I emailed showmasters. Why couldn't they reply and tell me this? Um, and they're like, well, just bear with us. Today, I finally get it in the post. This is like over a month later, five weeks later we're talking. 
Okay. I. This is at a glow at a distance. If you're looking at it on the wall, right? It's not too bad. Okay. Because actually, well, aside from my well, five chins, um, it's not too bad. Okay. And it looks relatively. I look relatively nice and decent and everything. You would think. <laughs> Except on closer inspection. <laughs> And I'll scan this in so you can see it clearly. Look, my nose is apparently two separate things. See the bridge? And the lower down part are completely separate. The lines do not connect. I mean, why? I, I know I'm freakishly weird anyway, but seriously. <laughs> I, I, my, my nose apparently starts off here. And it ends up here. Now, you know, fair enough. I mean, if, if that was the case, like I say, it doesn't look that bad until you look closer. If that was the case, why not just Photoshop my eyes on top of the, um, on top of the existing, uh, closed ones? I mean, <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I'm going to piddle around with it and I don't know if I'll do it before I upload this vlog. But um, I'm going to play around with it and if I don't do it for this time, I'll do it for next time. And I will show you what I could do to make that better by, say, taking off my eyes and then just sticking them on top of the existing print that I had. That and it comes and it's all bent at the edges and kind of all manky and, and that. So, I mean, that's got to go in a frame anyway. But, you know, it would have been nice if they'd email me the file or something, you know, so I could laugh at it on the computer. Um, so I'm really, really disappointed and heartbroken. I mean, like I say, it is technically better than the original <laughs> I got was with me going, ooh, ooh. Um, but just... Why? 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 I mean, I don't know if she. I mean, if she was in a rush or something when she got her laptop working again, I don't know. But I'm sorry if you can't see the the, the very line, deep line of my bridge of my nose, and then the big fat thing here. Then there's something very wrong, and she should be sacked. <laughs> um, the pets are all well. Um, Mulder is. Uh, Mulder. <laughs> We've been going over a, a nearby fielder recently and uh, for those who don't know, he has a thing where um, he he doesn't do it in the house. In the house he's not so bad. But um, when we're out and about, if I throw a ball, um, he'll run after it and then just stand beside it. As if to say, uh, bitch, it's here. I know you can't see it. Yeah, it's here. And he will just stand there and I'm like, bring it back. Me in the middle of the field, you know, with my stick, you know, kind of thing. Um, and it means I have to walk all the way to where the ball is to pick it up and then throw it again and then again go to wherever the ball is. I just, if anybody's got any tips on that, please help me. Um, uh, he did have a bath recently. Um, that was a nightmare in itself because it means we now have very nice I used to have a lovely red carpet in the living room I now have a red carpet under there somewhere it's a lovely shade of white at the moment so <laughs> um, uh, it, it's like he had the bath and all his hair has come out and how he's a, look I could make a whole new dog out of what has come off of him so uh, that's the nightmare that's been going on with Mulder uh,